Game's a little too talky a talky little for me. Discussion? Just to take a closer right, look. Yeah, yeah, sure. Why not? Yes, you can join. Yep, yep, just get in there. Let's go kill things. All right, good to hear. Let's get down there and kill some things. Can we talk? Ah, uh, lady. Lady, I, I'm done talking. I've been talking for literally an hour. I've been trying to make a video out of this. It's like, it's, it's, this is like gonna be like an audiobook, bro. Welcome back. We'll be going to the Shipbreaker. It's like a neutral faction. It's not connected with the board, not necessarily opposed to the board. It's kind of its own thing. Got a sec? Hey, Captain. I heard that Groundbreaker's got a real good engineer. A lady named June Lay Tennyson. All right. What about her? I was thinking that maybe I ought to meet her. If you got time to swing us by, I mean. I don't got much experience fixing actual spaceships. I bet you a can of Borston beans she could teach me all manner of stuff. Yeah, sounds like a smart decision to me. Be sure to head over there. Thanks, Captain. I'll be sure to make it worth your time. That's not the point. This halfway just knocked out one of my workers. Yeah, with a toss ball stick, I heard you the first time. There weren't any witnesses. No witnesses? He's not even denying it. Jackass had it coming. Shut it, Felix. You're not making this any better. Identification, please. My name's uh, Red Wolf. It's my first time here. You must have just dusted off from one of those dirt side outposts. Sure did. And now we're in space. <laughs> yeah. Well, welcome to Groundbreaker. I'm sorry to tell you this. You've been flagged by the board. Your ship will be impounded until such a time as they see fit to lift it. Well, That's isn't no this way wonderful? Now. The captain's done something to get on the board's bad side. I didn't. Now, hold on. This isn't the end of the world. Probably. I want to take it up with Udom Bedford, our board representative here on Groundbreaker. His office is located along the starboard wall of the promenade. Shines like a Byzantium commode. You can't miss it. I'll straighten all this out. You take the starch out of him, well, you won't hear any complaints from me. Oh, and if you're headed that way, would you mind doing me a favor? Wanda Dorset over in sickbay? Tell her the shipment's not in yet. It's not coming in anytime soon, and if she'd be so obliged to get off my ass about it. Okay. Can we talk? Right now, let's find a tavern, bro. I guess it doesn't really matter because it zooms in on your guys' faces. What's up? Captain, if I could trouble you for a moment of your time, while we're on the Groundbreaker, I may have an idea for how we could find a translator. There's a former so uh, infamous philosopher scholar who fled Terra 2 some years ago. He's an expert on Bakonu. If anyone in this colony could translate that book, it would be him. All I need is access to a data cartridge from the security terminal. Their easily hackable system keeps a registry of all crew manifests for both arrivals and departures. Man, you want me to hack into the... We're gonna... Yeah, if we get caught, we make a very, very bad first impression, bro. This is the only place that's not connected to the board. I'd kind of... I want to leave on good terms. How's this gonna help us find a friend? I'll comb the last six months of departure manifest to track the philosophist's off-world destination. I assume this is the only option, so I guess we're gonna make use of that, uh... disguising device. Oh, we all look like guards. All right. There it is. Just yank the drive, and I'll do the rest. Sounds perfect. Yes. Here. There's a domicile on Monarch in Fallbrook, rented to the same bit cart he used to buy his seat on the salvage ship. I should have guessed. What better place to lay low if you wish to avoid the authorities? We think he's on Monarch. Moving on with our lives. That was a waste of time. Try not to be distracted by the glare of the adverts. Lots of unsavory types about. Yeah, this place looks pretty cool, though. Yes, Wheeler messaged me you were coming. You must be the captain of the Unreliable, a vessel that used to be helmed by one Alex Hawthorne. And you are not he. Yeah, he's dead. Oh no, this is terrible. My dear friend, what devilry is this? About my ship? Right, right. You are going important places, I'm sure. Maybe. There, I've See. removed the flag from your ship. I'm terribly sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, however, before you go... Alex promised to tell me the location of Phineas Wells, 
I'm sure you've seen his wanted posters all over the colony. Yeah. Did Alex tell you where Wells might be? Anything at all? I think I know where to find this Phineas Wells. What? Yeah, I don't really intend on turning Phineas in just yet. You probably don't even know where Wells is. None of my contacts ever pan out. Bless my heart. A stranger come knocking on a poor old woman's door. Phineas sent me. I need a nav key to get into Stellar Bay over at Monarch. It won't be cheap. If you find yourself lacking in the bits, I might have an opportunity you'd be interested in. Let's hear about this opportunity then. Well, I find I'm in need of a ship captain with a little moral flexibility. That ain't might me. be this could help out the Sorry. groundbreaker. She sent me a recording of a distress signal she'd scraped from the groundbreaker's comm array. Curious thing is, it came from an outpost called Roseway. And Auntie Cleo abandoned that place years ago. Yeah, I'm in. I don't see why you would need any moral flexibility in this. People sound like they're in danger, and it sounds like they've been abandoned, so... Yeah, say no more. If you should find a secret worth selling, might be I could find a buyer. Corporate bigwigs will pay top bit for inside information on their competitors. Don't forget to come find old Gladys when you're done. You can't get me out of there. Please don't make a scene, Dr. Fenhill. I'm sorry. Am I causing a scene? Yeah. Yeah, scene, you are. Furo? We could have avoided all this unpleasantness if you just let me talk to Jesse in the first place. Who's Jesse? Let me get one thing straight. Jesse and I are not friends. I just owe her, okay? As for the rest, I'm trying to figure that out. All I know is that she's been here too long, and she's apparently not receiving visitors. All right, we're going to sum up this next part. I go, I talky-talky to some friend of hers. She owes a debt, or they're going to pull out her organs. I go talky-talky to another guy, pay the girl's debt. Then this girl with the white coat named Ellie joins my team. She's like a medic of sorts, with like a chip on her shoulder, it seems like. And yeah, that seems to be it. So now that that's all summed up, let's move on. Oh, no. I mean, it don't cost nothing. Hey, you got a second? Bro. Hey, we don't know each other yet, but I'm Felix Millstone. This game's a little too talky-talky talky for me. Discussion with the local authorities when you pass me by? I noticed your ship in port. Got to thinking you might be looking for some crew. So okay. I wandered by. Just to take a closer right. look. Yeah, yeah, sure. Why not? Yes, you can join. Yep, yep. Just get in there. Let's go kill things. Viscera and death everywhere. Gunfire, gnashing teeth. The unemployed. For law's sake. The unemployed. If receiving this, please send help. What? No, 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 no. Captain. We are now capable of accessing the Roseway landing pad. Good to hear. Also. All right, good to hear. Let's get down there and kill some things. Can we talk? Ah, uh, lady. Lady, I, I'm done talking. I've been talking for literally an hour. What? This Roseway business smells. Yes. Something tells me things didn't end well for the guy who made the distress call. Yeah, what and a surprise. Whoever or whatever got him will be waiting for us. Yep, mm-hmm. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm hoping for, actually. If someone needs help, we're gonna help them, Ellie. If you say so, I'm keeping a finger on the trigger all the same. Yeah, that's okay. Anyway, we might as well- Exactly where you're researching, man. We were tasked with formulating a new and improved dental gel. Oh, wow, amazing. One cannot exaggerate the benefits of good dental hygiene. May I continue? Ah, uh, yes, please, I guess. To be the most effective appetite suppressant ever. So diet toothpaste. Not just any diet toothpaste. The ultimate diet toothpaste. Oh my goodness, man. Just eat pickles. You wanna lose weight? Just eat pickles. I literally am doing it right now. Pickles and a little bit of cheese to keep the protein. I need a little bit of protein to make sure that my muscles aren't eating while I'm starving. Yeah, that's the key to losing weight. Pickles. And a little bit of cheese. And by a little bit, I mean like a little bit. Like like no more than like 300 calories a day of cheese. Max. You lose weight. Because you're not eating enough. Starvation is key. <laughs> and it sucks. <laughs> oh, poop. Bro, I'm not liking this game anymore. It's just too talky-talky. Um, 
All right, kill things, get yes. your research. But don't kill the mother if it's avoidable. Jameson, he's in the old lab. I'll try to find him. That would surely lighten the weight on my conscience. Think we'll find any freakish experiments locked away in there? As long as they don't talk, Thank man, you. I don't care I what we find. Persons. Okay. They're just absorbing my shots. Jeez. Bullet sponge and nonsense. We're getting attacked at every turn. These guys are too tough. Guys, get back up. Weak to plasma, I guess. Damage. Ooh, or explosive. Bam! You better be alive after all this nonsense. Uh, Cleo lab office key. Let's take bets on what shuts him up first. A hungry rap or my backhand? Yeah, he's just scared. I'm pretty chill. Did someone lift the lock down? What? How the hell did you get in here? I picked the lock. I didn't want to waste time looking for the key card. I'd wager my last bit that if you brought back the precursors and left me for dead, Anton wouldn't bat an eye. Well, then he sounds like a scumbag, if what you say is true. But I don't care about none of this, man. You're alive. Let's get out of here. You've returned. What news? I saved your homie. Please tell me you've recovered my research. Without my- No, but I saved your flippin' homie. That is wonderful news. I'd feared the worst. Oh, oh. We're gonna call it quits there. I am probably gonna put this playthrough on hold. I just- don't really enjoy it. There's so much talking. It's got a good story and everything, but I'm, I'm just not too fond of the combat. I'm really not fond of all the dialogue. It's like 95% dialogue. I'm gonna try to get uh, Skyrim VR to work because I was having issues with it. It just wasn't working for some reason. It was super laggy and I have no idea why. Also, I was thinking about uh, playing the Mass Effect Legendary Edition. I've already played and beat Mass Effect 1 through 3 and everything, but I do think it'd make a good uh, video for a playthrough. So I might do that as well, but I'm definitely going to put this on pause. Too much dialogue. Not liking it. But maybe I'd like it if I was just playing it like on my own, not trying to make a video out of it, but trying to make a video out of this, it's like, it's, it's, this is like going to be like an audiobook, bro. <laughs> More than an actual... <laughs> gaming playthrough but uh either way i hope you enjoyed as always have fun be well and do good i am red wolf and this is my story bye